Hi and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I'm going to explain how to create an engine piston in Creo and also to create an 2D drafting of the engine piston using the drawing environment in Creo. I have also provided the 2D drawing images for practice. Check out the link in the description box below. For more additional videos related to the concepts in mechanical engineering and design, please subscribe my channel. Okay, let's get into the video. At first, I'm going to select the front plane and click on sketch view. And here I'm going to draw the line. This total length is 85, so I'm going to divide it by 2 to get its half the length. And I'm going to assign this vertical dimension as 86.4. And then I'm going to draw the line. Select the line. And I'm going to continuously draw the line like this. And then I'm going to connect it towards its base. And let me assign this dimension value as 7.3. And then select the dimension command. And I want this dimension as 3. I want this dimension as 4.3. And I'm going to select this dimension and delete the equal length constraint. And make it a dimension value of 5.7. And here also I'm going to delete the equal length constraint and enter 5.7. And now I'm going to select the arc command, select the first point and this point and I'm going to draw an arc like this. And select the dimension and I want this dimension value as 5. And now let me delete this one. And I'm going to enter the radius value as 75. And this distance let it be 42.5 itself. And then I'm going to select the line command. And I'm going to create an inclined line like this. And select the dimension command. And I want this dimension value as 3.5. And this vertical dimension value as 2. And then select the line command and join these entities. And now my sketch gets completed and it forms a closed loop structure. And I'm going to give a check mark to it. And then I'm going to select the revolve command and select this y axis and then give a check mark to it. And now my piston is created. So in this radius option, I'm going to edit this as 150. And now my revolve feature is completed and I'm going to use the shell command. I'm going to make this as a thickness value of 1.5. And then I'm going to select this plane and go to sketch view. And here I'm going to draw a circle. Select the center point and draw a circle like this. And here I'm going to enter a diameter value of 33.8. And this distance is going to be 54 divided by 2 which gives me 27 and then give a check mark to it and now I'm going to extrude this one I'm going to use the extrude up to the next surface option and then give a check mark to it and now I'm going to mirror this one select the extrude command and then mirror I'm going to mirror above this plane and then give a check mark to it and now I'm going to select the sketch tool once again and select the extrude once again. This time I'm going to remove the material. I'm going to use the symmetric extrude and enter a value of 35. And now my material is removed successfully. And I'm going to select the front plane once again and go to sketch view. And here I'm going to draw a circle on the concentric point and enter the diameter value as 33.8. And then give a check mark to it. And now I'm going to remove the material here. And use the symmetric option. And I'm going to just drag this drag handle here. So let me enter some value as high 100. And then give a check mark to it. And now my material is removed. And my engine piston was created successfully in Creo. And now let me explain the drawing environment. For that, 
select new and drawing and then click on ok and let it be landscape mode and then click on ok once again and currently it is empty to generate the view select general view and no combiner state and select any region in the graphics area and now your view is created so let me scale this one for that I'm going to select the custom scale and let me enter a value of 1.5 and then click on apply and currently I just want to change the model display so I'm going to change this in the no hidden type and then click on apply and click on ok and now I'm going to create the projection view of this select the projection view and let me place this one here and select the projection view once again and the top view on the above and currently I don't want top view so I'm going to click this and delete and I'm going to edit this view and I'm going to select the view display option to change its display to the no hidden and then click on apply and ok and now I'm going to create the section view for this for that I'm going to select my part and right click on it and click on open and here I'm going to create the section view for that go to the view tab and select the section and in the section I'm going to select the planar and I'm going to select this right plane here and then give a check mark to it and now my sectional view is created successfully and now I'm going to explain how to create the sectional view in the drawing model for that let me close this one and now I'm in the drawing environment and now I'm going to select this one and click on the edit definition and in the sections tab I'm going to select a 2d cross section and I'm going to create new by selecting plus and select the x sectional one which is the cross section which I have created and then click on apply and close and now my sectional view of about the right plane is created successfully in the drawing environment so let me edit the hatch lines for that I'm going to double click on this line and instead of this hatching lines you can also fill by using the colors select the fill option and now you see that the hatched lines are filled with colors you can also change the color by selecting the color option and let me change this to quilt and click on ok and now my color was changed successfully and if I just want to increase the spacing select the spacing option and let me increase it by value and here I'm going to enter a spacing value of 0.1 and then click on done and this is how the sectional view is created and now I'm going to explain how to create the detailed view for that I'm going to select the detailed view and then select the center point for this I'm going to select this point as the center point and just draw a spline around this center point and then press the middle mouse button to close this one and to project this view select any region in the graphics area and now my view is successfully projected and let me move this to here and now I'm going to explain how to assign the dimensions to it for selecting the dimension select this view and click on the show model annotation option or else in the annotate tab select the show model annotation option and then select the view and here it shows the list of dimensions which is available in this view you can select any dimension which you want to keep if you want to select all the dimensions just select this option here and to uncheck this select this one for example if I just want to keep this diameter just select this and then click on apply and close this one and now you see that only this diameter dimension is shown in this view let me drag this to here and let me apply the dimensions to this detailed view you can also create the dimension by selecting the dimension option and just select the first point and holding down the control key select the second point and press the middle mouse button to place the dimension let me explain it again select the dimension command 
and select the first point and holding the control key select another point and press the middle mouse button to place the dimensions in the graphics area. So by the same way I'm going to create the dimensions to this detailed view. And now I have successfully created the dimensions in the auxiliary view. Let me che create the dimensions to this view here. Select the dimension and just select this edge and holding down the control key select another edge and let me enter the dimension as 85. And then let me assign the vertical dimension here. Select this first point and then this end point by using the control key and this vertical dimension has a value of 86.4 and then let me assign the dimensions to this inclined line so this horizontal dimension is 3.5 and this vertical dimension is 2 and then select the dimension and select this point and this point and this value is 35 this point and then Hold on the control key and select this point and this value is 37.8. And now I have successfully created the dimensions to all the drawing views in my model. And now I'm going to save this in the PDF format. For that go to file and click as save as. And in the type option I'm going to change this as PDF. Let me type this as print. And then click on OK and click on OK once again and now my PDF will be created and now the PDF file opens and shows the drawing views of the engine piston. So in this video I have explained just how to create a simple drafting of the engine piston using the Creo. For more additional videos related to the concepts in mechanical engineering and design please subscribe my channel and thank you for watching.